When you must wear a respirator to protect yourself against airborne contaminants in your workplace, it is very important to follow proper procedures for putting it on and taking it off. The process of putting on and taking off your respirator is also referred to as donning and doffing. Respirator manufacturers supply instructions on how to properly don and doff, put on and take off, each respirator they produce. The manufacturer also supplies instructions on how to properly conduct a user seal check. A user seal check is a way to verify that the respirator has been properly positioned on your face to assure a proper seal. Sometimes workers confuse the term user seal check with the term fit test, which is different. A user seal check is not a substitute for a fit test which is a more involved process that uses a test agent or instrument to verify the respirator's fit. A fit test must be performed before you wear a respirator for the first time and at least annually thereafter. A user seal check must be performed each time you put on a respirator to check that it has been donned correctly. Remember, Always follow the respirator manufacturer's instructions for the specific respirator model that you are using. Here are some general instructions for properly donning and doffing and properly conducting a user seal check for the two most common types of respirators. Let's begin with general instructions for a disposable filtering face piece respirator, which is often referred to as an N95 or a dust mask. Inspect the respirator, including the straps, for tears or damage. If you find any damage to the respirator, replace it. If your respirator comes out of its original container folded flat, open the folds fully following the manufacturer's instructions. Using one hand, place the respirator on your face with the nose piece at your fingertips, allowing the headbands to hang freely. The nose piece should span and cover the bridge of your nose and the respirator should cup your chin. Pull the top strap over your head, resting it high at the back of your head. Pull the bottom strap over your head and position it around your neck and below your ears. Be sure not to crisscross the straps. Make sure that your mouth and nose are covered by the respirator. If the nose piece has a metal nose piece or strip, use both hands to mold the nose strip to conform to the shape of your nose by pushing inward while moving your fingertips down along both sides of the nose piece. Next, conduct a user seal check. It's essential to follow the manufacturer's user seal check instructions because the manufacturer knows the best method for checking their respirator. Generally speaking, the manufacturer's instructions are based on covering the surface of the respirator, usually with your hands, so that air is prevented from passing through the filtering face piece. A positive pressure seal check is performed by gently exhaling to see if the face piece bulges slightly. For a negative pressure seal check, take a quick deep breath to see if the face piece collapses slightly. During either test, if air leaks out between your face and the respirator's face seal, the respirator may not fit your face properly. One way that you can identify leakage is if you feel air blowing through the seal onto your face or eyes. If you feel leakage, readjust the fit of your respirator and check the seal again. If you cannot achieve a proper seal, you are not protected and should not enter a hazardous area. See your supervisor to determine what the problem may be. When you're finished wearing the respirator, carefully remove it without touching the exterior because the exterior may be contaminated. Discard your respirator according to your company's procedures.